hello welcome back to my channel this is my November book and I'm working on this page which is my November 1st page um, and I'm doing something that I know in any of my other books I have never done mostly on my pages but like the beginning of it I usually do pretty bright pages or whatnot well here I'm actually gonna go in with the black marble and I'm gonna cover over the entire thing so I'm gonna do that really really fast and I'll be right back So this is what I have, and what I did was I went ahead and I took a um, piece of cardstock. This is nine inches long by four inches high, and then I scored it at three and one sixteenth of an inch, and then at six inches. That one sixteenth of an inch isn't gonna matter. You're not gonna notice it. And then I just fold it in on itself, like so. I'm making a little like trifold, I guess, but I'm gonna turn this into a locket, a heart shaped mom locket. Um, so, what I need to do to do that, I again, I went over this with the um, the desert, sh desert sand shimmer spray front and back to give it that nice little shine. So I'm not really great at making hearts, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to take something, and you could do this with the ruler, I'm just going to do it with a little sanding block, and I'm going to measure out what would probably be, since this is three inches roughly, you're going to go an inch and a half in, and just put myself a little tally mark here, and a tiny tally mark here. I might go down to where I want to start my heart up here. Okay, so I just drew a heart on this one and make sure that you've got it folded in on itself. So the middle is gonna be in the bottom. You're gonna fold the left-hand side over and then the right-hand side on top of that because what we're gonna do is I'm gonna cut out my heart shape and it's gonna leave these edges here as little hinges per se. So let's do that really quick. So I went in and I cut out my heart and I had to refine it a little bit is essentially I'm going to make it into like a little trifold um, locket and that was why I did it in the trifold. What I have here is I have the, this is from the So Easy stamp set, the Dilution So Easy stamp set and I just had sprayed out that same desert sand shimmer spray on it and then I stamped down this image here. And I'm gonna use that as the uh, locket's chain. Right there. And right there. Something along those lines. But what else I have is, I have got just a little scrap piece that I made to look like the top of what a typical dangly necklace would have. Something along those lines. I just went in, drew it, and cut it out. I'm gonna put that on top of there once I get this figured out. And it's gonna go underneath the heart. Okay. 
Okay. And then because I didn't want it to be so just that, these are the cutouts from the strip that I used um, to do the so easy stamp here. And I figured those would make perfect little top and bottom borders for this page. So I'm gonna do that. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get all these stuck down and then I'll be right back. You're gonna wanna put your double-sided tape on the back of the middle one. Sorry about the train, guys. <laughs> back here. All right, so now that those are all stuck down, I'm gonna take my white Posca paint pen and I'm gonna outline everything. Now I'm going to take the black Posca paint pen and just around here where the locket is, I'm going to go there and then around this little piece here to define it a bit, just like so. And then on the front here, I think I may just go around and do a solid outline the problem is is the Posca, the paint pen doesn't really want to show up very well on this but we will see we'll see what happens um, because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a photo of each one of my children my littles and um, on the sticky 2 by 3 paper that I have and I'm just gonna cut them and put their image and cut it into the shape to make it look like their picture is inside of my locket here um, so, I'm just going to go around and do a regular outline, just defining the heart a bit. Right, and because 
November is a month of giving things. I like to put something on my page, on each page that I am thankful for, or grateful for, or blessed for, just pretty much counting my blessings. So, up here is where I'm going to write, um, I'll probably write my greatest blessings is indeed my children and I'll put that down here how do I want to do it though let's see hmm. I think I want like four lines four <laughs> I have an idea. Take my pencil and just kind of roughly mark me out for four lines so they can be somewhat straight. They don't have to be very big. write it out with my pencil here first. Um, Okay, and for this one, I'm going to do that fancy little curl up, curl down border. And out here, I feel like I want to put something. What would I put across here? Just write the word mom. Hmm. I might have to put something on top of that O because I don't like the way it looks. Or I could go over it with the black. That would even be good. So let's put this here. So what I'm doing is I don't like how this looks. I'm just going to take me a piece of black card underneath. Outline my heart for the most part. Just like that. And then I'm just gonna go right inside of it, make it a little bit smaller. I'm 
lay it right on top, just like so. There we go. So I'm going to stick this heart right on top of here. Okay, so right here in the middle, I am just going to write the word mom, but I'm going to do it differently this time. I'm going to make me some lines so that way I know I stay straight. I'll start at the top here, a line there, and I guess right about there will work. There we go. Just erase the lines a little bit around it. And I might just go in and do a um do I want to do a solid border or do I want to stitch? Just for the sake of being different, let's do a stitch border all the way around this little heart here. And that is it guys, that is my page for the day. Um, sorry it was all over the place. I just had this in my head and I literally sat down and yeah. Um, didn't know exactly what I wanted it to look like in the end result, but I knew that I needed the desert sand, the gold look, because I wanted the, it to look like a golden locket. I don't know if you can really see it that well. Let's see. I'm not sure. Um, so I did. I went in and I pre-sprayed my cardstock, and then I stamped out the image that I needed and cut out my locket piece here. As for this, I'm going to put a picture of each one of my littles in here. We don't have to do that. You could use it for writing, or you could put a picture of whatever you want to. Or, um, it doesn't even have to be a heart that you use. You could do it a circle, you could do whatnot. But, on the inside it's going to be the pictures. And here's where I'm going to have room to write. But, because of November is, um, a month to be thankful. And, I mean, all months are a month to be thankful, but November is, you know, Thanksgiving and this and that so I usually put at least one blessing or one thing that I am extraordinarily thankful for on each one of my pages whether it be something a big thing like this or I just put it in small writing otherwise but that is it I hope there's something on this page that gives you guys some kind of inspiration if you like the video please give it a like I thank you so 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 very much for watching and until the next time I hope you stay safe stay warm and I'll see you later bye bye